Hi y'all, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to make the best homemade hush puppies you'll ever taste. Hi y'all, Don here with Southern Backyard Cooking. I've had a lot of friends and a lot of people on YouTube ask me about some of my Cajun recipes. So today I'm going to do a Cajun homestyle hush puppy for you. If you'd like my video, please make sure you subscribe, ring that bell. That'll get you the notifications for all new videos that I have coming out. All right, y'all, first step, mix all the dry ingredients. And I'm gonna mix those with a whisk. All right, so I've got one cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal, a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking powder. So I just want to mix all this up real well. Doesn't take much. All right, y'all, the second step is to add our liquid ingredients. We want to add the milk, one egg, and I have a half of a small jalapeno pepper and I have it diced up pretty small. And we are gonna blend these. I don't wanna use the whisk because I don't wanna over mix it. So I'm just gonna mix it up. And it's gonna be real doughy when we get done. And that's good because what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll these into a ball into several balls actually. All right y'all as you can see my mixture it's nice and it's not liquidy at all it's nice and firm so what I want to do is take out and I want to roll these gently and softly into little balls. That way I'll have them ready to go into the hot grease. All right, so I got my balls rolled out here. What I'm doing now is I'm heating up my fryers. You probably can hear it running. I wanna heat it up to 350 degrees. So this is a Cajun fryer. With it, uh, it holds temperature really well. So once it hits about 325, I'm gonna turn it down some, and then I'm watch it real close. I don't want it to go much over 350. All right, y'all, my fryer just got up to 325. It'll stay at 325. I've turned it down quite a bit, just a little bit of flame on. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take and put one of my baskets in, and these been sitting here about 10 minutes now. I'm gonna roll them a little bit, and I'm gonna put them on the spoon and just drop them into the grease. And the reason I'm putting on the spoon is that way it doesn't splash up and burn me. All right, so I've got them all in. Uh, at this point in time, they're starting to float a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to take and turn them over. It only takes about three or four minutes to cook them. But we want to turn them over so that both sides cook. And you can tell one side will be light, light, uh, almost yellow. The other side will be kind of a golden brown. All right, this is them cooking and you can see the ones on the right are, are a nice golden brown. And you see how we just take and flip them over a little bit? Like I said, we want to cook these for about, right at about four minutes. These are just about done, so all I'm going to do is put them up. I want to drain them about 15, 20 seconds. And then I'm going to put them in my pan. I In my pan I have a paper towel in there to dry them off and kind of get the excess grease off them. All right, y'all, so you can see I cut one in half. Inside, you can tell it's completely done. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Man, those are good. 
um, nice and fluffy, sweet, and yet I can still taste a little bit of that jalapeno. I didn't want a lot in there because I didn't want it to overpower. But these are great just like they are. Thanks for watching my video today. Again, coming back and doing some Cajun style fried catfish goes perfectly with these hush puppies. Uh, and until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day. Make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you next time.